Hey, what's up everybody? Mr. Nation Wine here. So we're on day three of uh, 2016. So I just changed my oil. First thing I did. So it's not due until uh, March 3rd at this many miles. Yeah, yeah so anyway, I had to come come here to Olive Zone to, uh, you know, bring some oil to drain out the old oil I got from the truck. And then plus, uh, I get a new uh, oil drain pan when I do the oil changes. And yeah, maybe I can use, use that for coolant. Or maybe I can buy a separate one for coolant. And then the other one for transmission fluid. And then, uh, and then some uh, special uh, solvent sand because I accidentally spilled oil on the driveway. And I need to hurry up and get that mess cleaned up or something else happened. <laughs> Yeah, so, so anyway, uh, just changing oil here and there. Uh, as I'm uh, doing a, a thorough inspection of the truck, you know, the front, front suspension components, I discovered that I need a new uh, upper ball joint. I need one replaced. Well, the ball joint is intact, but uh, th that rubber bushing, you know, where the grease, you know, balls up at, it's missing. I don't know how that happened anyway. Luckily, the ball joint is still intact. So I probably had to lubricate with the grease like each week maybe. Just put a little dab of it in my finger and go all the way around twice just until I get a new ball joint. Well, I need two ball joints and then I figure, well, these are bolt on upper ball joints. I got the lower ones uh, placed months ago, back in August. But I'm thinking that I might as well just get the upper control arms replaced at the same time. Because, uh, well, it, it's easier anyway, because if you, if you just replace the upper ball joints without changing the upper control arms, and then you had to change them right away, then uh, you had to transfer those ball joints in there. That, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Well, so, you know, you got to get the bushings. You got to get those bushings replaced anyways. Yeah, the bushings that go in the upper control arms, and then new shims. I was thinking getting new shims for the alignment. So, I'm thinking get these aftermarket... Uh, upper control arms you know, get them for four oil parts so I'm thinking either Pro Comp or Skyjacker which one, whichever works first and then I'll get them installed or at Best Starts Raleigh like you did and just hit time and just do my alignment at the same time because it's going to take a while, a while to get you know those tires uh, I probably had to wait until tax time oh. and that money was going to be used for getting this apartment over in Raleigh just to be closer to work. So it's going to take me a while. Yeah, plus, you know, about we uh, over to Zaxby's. Well, actually, I might as well go to the gas station first. So I turn around. But I'm about to put this on. Do this every oil change. Complete fuel system cleaner. Because I've got about, about 386 uh, miles on the tank. Straight back. So, uh, me, uh, Storm Maverick, and DJ Elroy go pick up uh, Johnny Boy and Manuel. Uh, that's another guy. So, anyway, we picked the two up over at Lock and Loaded, stayed here for a little bit, and then we got out. So, anyway, on the way out, uh, I saw a couple cop cars, so I was just, just doing the speed limit. So, I got, saw like, a police car, like, running from me. So,. He was heading towards left, uh, maybe going eastbound, view 70, and I was going westbound just so I get connect to Garner Station Boulevard, just so I go to a, you know, a southbound uh, US 401. His Orm Evers house is like right, uh, New Stage and New Stage Road and Vandover Springs Road. So that's my way getting there, just going southbound the 401, and then get off, take a left over to Old Stage, so I go to Vandover Springs Road and then the subdivision there. Behind me, you know, from uh, you know, 70. And so, anyway, uh, you know, it's kind of a little slow, so I went to Garner Station Boulevard. And it's up here, you'll, you'll see it. So, this is the 401. That's uh, US 70 right there. 
can have NC High with 50. I'm sorry that the camera was too close. I didn't know. Thank my heart. So, this is where I got off last night. This is where Lowe's is at and McDonald's. So, that's a conversation Boulevard. And this is the 401. So, anyway, the cop was uh, behind me. So, I was in this lane, the right lane. And then, uh, after we passed Saks Piece, which is where I'm going to go after the gas station, uh, I quick, I put went to, uh, to the left lane. And then, we saw some police cars over in this area. Because uh, I guess somebody committed a crime, somebody got arrested. So, I said, the guys, uh, well, maybe that cop behind me, who's behind me, maybe he's on his way to the scene. Well, he wasn't, so. I went down to, uh, I kept on going straight to the 401. Here's the gas station, but I'm going to go through to the, the parking lot. I'm going to go through this way a little bit, just so I can film today. So anyway, I turned left at the next light, and then, you know, turns out it was a state trooper's car, so uh, he went completely down south. Yeah, the North Carolina State Trooper. And so, there was another car behind me. It was just a civilian car, a regular car. And he was behind me the whole time at uh, Old Stage. And then, so, uh, I was going down. Uh, I'll put the camera back. So anyway, we're, we're cruising down the uh, uh, Old Stage Road, and that's like uh, three miles long just to get to Evangelist Springs Road to make that left. So anyway, I went to the left lane, and then the car, uh, you know, just went completely straight. But then I saw another police car. There's uh, was another North Carolina State Trooper. I wasn't even sure it was the same cop car or not, because like, he went all the way down to the 401. There's no way he would have been behind me, unless he turned left on Legend Road, which connects on uh, to Old Stage Road. Yeah, so, uh, as soon as I turned left on Van Zorn Springs Road, just before the um, Storm's uh, subdivision, then I saw the police sirens going off, and luckily it was blue lights. If it's red, then that means it's a fake uh, police car. It means somebody impersonating a police officer, but it was a real uh, state trooper. Cause, uh, I mean, you know, the requirement you know, to be a state trooper, you know, you had to be over six feet tall, and you probably had to weigh around 200 pounds or more. But it is a crazy requirement, but a lot of cops are, there's some cops shorter than that. A little bit, way lesser than 200 pounds. Uh, I'm going to pull over to the side or the gas station, that's so I'm not blocking the pump. I'm just over by uh, where the air pump's at. So anyway, uh, anyway, so I pulled over, and then I turned off the truck, and then the, off the trooper, uh, Sent us a PA system. He had a CB ray, of course. He had it on the PA, and he said, "And just pull, uh, just pull inside the the street of the subdivision. You go inside." And, and so I just pull in there real slow, and then you know I kept my hands on the steering wheel, and then as I was doing tonight, I said, "Oh, uh, good. Uh, what's up?" And he said, "Well, the reason why I pulled you over, you're speeding along a uh, yeah, old stage road, you know from." Uh, it was 401, and then all until the speed limit went up to 45, passing Woodland. I was like, oh, I keep on forgetting the speed limit there was 35, because, you know, it fluctuates a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, just get your license and just uh, step out of the truck. I said, okay. So, I stepped out of the truck, and it was kind of weird. The radar detector wasn't even going off anyway, because he because that trooper was, like, right behind that car. So, unless he saw me going from Legend Road, he probably turned from Legend Road like he thought he would. So, anyway, uh, he asked me if I had anything to drink that night, and I did, but I told him the last beer, I had two beers, my last beer was before midnight, or a champion, so like, right around uh, singing, and he said, okay, well, right for a minute, yeah, and this was like, uh, around 2.30 last night, so, you know, he was going to write me up the ticket, but he hasn't yet, so, he had me, uh, follow his pen, you know, with my eyes, without moving my head, so I was doing, I'll show you without my glasses, so, I did this, that, this, a couple times without moving my head, that, that, you know, probably, uh, probably 12 times he was doing that, and I didn't move my head at all, you know, I had my glasses off just to 
so he could see my eyes better, and he had the flashlight. No, he wasn't even the beam right behind, but he had an angle. And then, okay, and he said, huh, okay, that's good, pressed. All right, you're going to take the breathalyzer test. So he had the breathalyzer, and he told me just uh, blow as hard as I can, like blowing through a balloon, which I did, and I was blowing. And he said, stop. And then he, said, and he looked under, whoa, okay. You're, all right, well, looks like you're sober. You're good to go. I'm going to get your license. I asked him, well, what about the ticket? Uh, you can forget about that. I was leaving off of a warning. Uh, sorry. Sorry, we did it. Sorry, we did it. <laughs> I said, yeah, that's good. I said, all right, that's that's fine. Because yeah, I'm, you know, just doing the right thing. Is all right. So, you know, I did the right thing and just drop off my friends. But, I mean, it's the second time I took a sobriety test and pass. But me failing, like, this is why I only drink two beers anyway. Because if I drink more than that, let's say like four or five, I, I'd be too damn drunk to drive anyway. I'd be in trouble. I, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, so it's best just to... You know, especially if I was sober around midnight, at least get out of the bar around 2 o'clock, because I think after 2.30, that's when there's more officers on the road after that. And plus, it was the holiday weekend. So, but, bro, but what well, was crazy, well, this is why I told the officer, uh, it was like an off-topic uh, story that, uh, you know, there's these other, all these other people, you know, giving, you know, officers problems for, like, just because some stuff they hear. And it was crazy, because... Well, you know, without the police or any law enforcement official, you know, we'll be having high, higher crime rates and everyone's going to get hurt, hurt or murdered. And, you know, we, us as citizens, you know, pay the, you know, the officers do the job just to, you know, to fight crime, you know, to get, you know, crime controlled like it's supposed to be. And, you know, he was not his head. Yes, he agreed. You know, we had something there. So it was, uh, somebody said he's a lieutenant, so it's Lieutenant Thorpe. So, you know, he's, Doing his job, so I don't care what happens anyway, because I I wouldn't resist the rest. I wouldn't talk shit and talk back to him. Nope. I mean, I just play along, you know. Probably get an attorney to you know fight the case for me, and then I'd be out free. Now some of these other people, they're just talking shit to the officer or doing da 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 and being non-compliant. Well, of course, they get arrested easy. Now, if it's something like a uh, legal search and seizure, you know, you have to ask him what grounds. And when you ask for his name and his badge number, he has to give it to you. And then that's when you make the point. But anyway, I'm about done here. So I'm about to go fill up some gas, go pick up some uh, food order and Zaxby's and just uh, continue on the rest of the day and try to catch the Steelers and Browns. I think the Steelers are beating the Browns, but I wasn't able to see on TV, but I'm going to try to see on online, see if I see a live coverage of that. And I'm not going to the dance studio tonight, so I'm taking a break. And I think Blood and Oil might be coming back on tonight. So I'll probably be back at the dance studio next week. Probably leave, a, you know, earlier like I used to, like when Blood and Oil's on. So I usually get out at 8. You know, it's a half an hour drive, so I get there before 8.30. So th this will be all. So uh, I'll see you guys later.